Hi little skeletons, it is Disney Queen Skelly here. I would like to start off this set of Disney uh, quiz marathon with an apology. So I, uh, you guys know I film my videos like months in advance at this point. And the only time I really get videos out to you guys in what I call real time is when I have something to discuss with you guys that's a little bit more urgent and it can't wait like months on end. I want to apologize first of all for the audio in the past two weeks videos. I had no idea how bad my audio actually was until I started editing and then after I basically went to go, when I went to go edit it and when I went to go like just basically make the videos for you guys, it sounded like I was in a tunnel and I was so pissed at myself for like letting my audio get that bad so I did an audio test before filming today I finally got my mic in the position that it needs to be you can hear me clearly and I know you guys probably haven't seen this room in a long long time so thank you guys so much I hope you guys understand I'm so sorry I I don't know what happened that day if I'm being like totally honest with you anyway so we're gonna kick off today's Disney quiz marathon with a very basically with like one of my favorite quizzes ever so here we go Oh, and one other thing I want to apologize for, I had filmed a couple months ago, I had posted a couple months ago, a Wharf Stash animatronic interview, and that video just completely failed, and I think it was just because my laptop was, like, not having it that day. We're getting into the warmer weather at time of recording, and it's getting humid, it's getting hot. California is basically becoming the next Florida. <laughs> So I'm so sorry about that and I'm also sorry about the latest reacting to video. I noticed that one was like really poorly done as well. Like the, basically the video just wouldn't work and like everything was just like, like my, my laptop was freezing and I'm so sorry guys. I, I regret not like checking my surroundings a bit better because I know if I had probably kept the room cooler my laptop wouldn't have been so slow. Not only that but if I had just checked my audio things probably would have been 10 times better. So I am so sorry with how things went. I hope this set of videos sounds much, much better. I hope you enjoy the, the Disney quiz marathon that I got for you today. So let's get into it. So like I said, guys, these quizzes are starting off with some personal favorites of mine. So this one is, can you guess the 90s Disney character from the really bad sketch we made? All right, so it looks like we're starting with Tarzan. Moving on to Cogsworth. Then we got Miko. Okay, I'll admit I got a little overwhelmed drawing this character, so instead I drew an interpretation of their quotes. That's Woody. There's the snake in my boot. Oh my god, that's Max. That's Sally. That's Simba. That's Meg. That's Mooshu. And finally, I tried my hand at a live action character for the first time. Is that Lizzie Mc... How do you spell McGuire? Definitely not like that. Who is that? Oh, no, wait. Oh, my God. No, no, no. I know who that is. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Xenon? Yeah! 10 out of 10. You got a perfect score. This must mean you love my drawings as much as you love 90s Disney movies. Oh, my God. I love your terrible drawings. Let's move on to the next quiz. So this quiz is, how well do you really know the live-action Beauty and the Beast? Who does Belle read to in the village? A flock of sheep, a village girl, her father, or the librarian? block of sheep? Ah. Uh. What is Maurice's music box shaped like? Windmill, treasure chest, carousel, or a grand piano? Well, I can see it. It's a windmill. <laughs> Where is Maurice headed out to when he embarks on his trip? A competition at the fair, the market to pick berries to gather wood. Gather wood? What is Gaston's backstory? Town's ex-mayor became rich through inheritance, a banished prince, army captain, and war hero. Sure. Why did Bees lock up Maurice? For trespassing in the castle, for threatening him, for stealing a rose, for touching the enchanted objects. Damn it. What great poet do Belle and Beast both quote? Shakespeare, Wordsworth, Homer, or none of these? Wordsworth? Where is Belle's childhood home? Canes, Paris, Geneva, or Berlin? We'll go with Geneva. Which of Beast's enchanted objects allows them to go anywhere they wish? Wasn't that the glow? Damn it. How many years after the original animated film was a live action remake released? Okay. I believe the original was released in 91, and the remake was released, sadly, when I was like 18 or 19. 
What was that, a 20 year gap? Mm. How do Belle and Maurice escape Gaston's prison? Okay, why did I say a 20 year gap? I'm literally 23 years old and that came out like, like the cartoon came out eons before I was born. So what the hell's wrong with me? How do Belle and Maurice escape Gaston's prison? Pick the lock, Chip's help. Chip helps them, bribe LeFou, break down the door. Does Chip still help them? Nope. Which enchanted object is in the live action film that isn't in the original? Cello, grandfather clock, harpsichord, or a violin? Was it the violin? What did Belle's mother suffer from? Influenza, the plague, childbirth, or measles? She died of childbirth? God damn, complete beast slayer. Wasting in my lonely tower, waiting by an open door. I'll fool myself, she'll walk right in and be with no. Nah, I do know this song. Be with me forevermore. What part of Belle's animated ballroom outfit is different from the live action version? Uh the gold pieces. Ah shit. Okay, three out of fourteen. We think it's time to take another trip to Belle's provincial town. Don't forget to come back to this quiz and try again to redeem yourself. Okay, to be fair, one of my exes really, really loved this movie, and he loved the live action, so this movie kind of leaves a sour taste in my mouth still, and that includes the live action, because Beast had a more prominent role in this movie, and I mean that, like, meaning he gave more in this movie than he did in the animated version. I It still just makes me very uncomfortable to watch, because Beast was his favorite character, given that he related to him so much, but truth be told, he was not that great of a person. Anyway, I hope to one day get over this funk that I have over the movie. I do listen to the songs in my car, not the live action, but the cartoon one, and that's definitely helping, and I know one of these days I'll eventually just get over it and watch the movie again like I used to be able to when I was a kid. So away from that sad subject, let's move on to the next quiz. <laughs> okay, I hope this quiz works unlike the last Nightmare Before Christmas quiz. Are you the Pumpkin King? I'm not the Pumpkin King, but I admire the Pumpkin King. If anything, I'm his Pumpkin Queen. Which Disneyland ride do you like the best? Oh, Splash Mountain. What's the most important part of Santa Claus's costume? Suit, hat, white beard, or boots? The hat, of course. Do you prefer routine or tradition? I don't mind changing things up, although change sometimes does scare me. What would you do if you ran into Santa Claus coming down the chimney? Give him milk and cookies, jump into his arms, hide behind the Christmas tree and scare him, or scream? I'll give him milk and cookies. Have you been a good boy slash girl this year? Define good. Absolutely. Perhaps. I'm on Santa Claus good list. Define good. If you cannot see it, do you believe it? Just because I cannot see it doesn't mean I can't believe it. Yes. What's your idea of perfect Christmas gift? Toy duck, toy duck with sharp teeth. Fuzzy socks or a shrunken head? Give me that toy duck with the sharp teeth. Dogs or cats? I'm a dog person all the way. What is your favorite holiday? Halloween. What's this? What's this? There's color everywhere. What's this? There's white things in the air. What's this? I can't believe my eyes. I must be dreaming. Wake up, Jack. This isn't fair. What's this? Is the Pumpkin King the best? Ugh, clearly he's the best. Finish the sentence. I'll scare you right now. I'm the Pumpkin King! You should be proud. You're the master of the creepiest of ceremonies, but you yearn for more in life. Explore your potential. The Pumpkin King is always up for a challenge. Oh, I can completely agree with that. Let's move on to the next quiz. All right, so this quiz is, should you go as Chris, 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 or Chris for Halloween? <laughs> oh my God. Favorite type of Halloween candy? Gummies, chocolate, hard candies, or granola bars? Gummies. Which of the following items do you have with you? A dog, a bag of snacks, a blonde wig, or a chapter book? I have plenty of chapter books with me. What are you willing to add to your costume that goes beyond the physical aspect? An accent, a large vocabulary, a sense of humor, and or an affable presence? Let's go with an accent. Choose a Halloween decor item from the following. Jack-o-lantern with an intricate design, faux cobwebs, dry ice, or slimy fake eyeball? Let's go with the faux cobwebs. If the Chris costume doesn't work out, what's your second option? Something punny, something only a few people will understand, something involving a jersey, something that works as a part of a group. Let's go, well, mm, none of these really, but usually I do like, we do like themed costume parties every year, so usually it's part of a group. Pick the Chris you wish to be, Hemsworth, Pine, Pratt, or Evans. 
Pratt. Yeah, I should go as Chris Pratt for Halloween. Fun fact though, when we go to Florida in October, I'm actually gonna be dressing as Gamora when we take our trip over to, I believe, Epcot. Yeah. You've got the sense of humor and overall likability to pull this costume off. Costume bonus. You can reference Chris Pratt's tweet admitting to getting the wrong Chris. Oh my god. Let's move on to the next quiz. Okay, so this quiz is, can you guess the Disney movie from the Ron Clements and John Musker Easter egg? Let's see. Which Ron and John Disney movie features this quick beast cameo? That's Aladdin. Which Disney movie do Ron and John appear in as these creatures? Treasure Planet, Mulan, Little Mermaid, or Chicken Little Wolf. Process of elimination. Which Disney movie is this Ron cameo from? That looks like Aladdin. Which Disney movie features Ron and John as these two construction workers? Let's go with Hercules. Which Ron and John Disney movie features a cameo of Mickey, Goofy, and Donald in the first five minutes of the film? Little Mermaid. In which Disney movie do Ron and John appear briefly as these two characters? Princess and the Frog. True or false, Ron and John make two Easter egg appearances in Moana. True. Dressed in a red suit, Stitch makes a cameo in which Ron and John Disney film? Prince and the Frog, Moana, Aladdin, or Treasure Planet? Prince and the Frog? Damn it. Which Disney movie was the first film that Ron and John made a cameo in? Grey Mouse Detective, Little Mermaid, Aladdin, or Hercules? Okay, so it's between these two. I've seen this pop up a lot, but let's go with The Little Mermaid, damn it. Which Disney movie is this cameo of John from? Treasure Planet, Atlantis, Prince and the Frog, or Home on the Range? Oh my goodness. Let's go with Prince and the Frog? Yes, because he had the beads. True or false, John and Ron always appear together in film cameos. Yes? The total number of times Ron and John have appeared in their own films is, we'll go seven. You got ten right. You obviously know your Ron and John Easter eggs, but the elusive 100% still evades you. Take this quiz once more and prove to us you're a true Ron and John super fan. Truth be told, I had no idea what they were talking about. I just knew the Easter eggs they were talking about. I just, I guess, didn't know who was associated with them, so yay, it goes over my head. Let's move on to the next quiz. So this quiz is, pick a dog in a Disney Halloween costume and we'll reveal a secret about you. <gasps> what do you know about me? I knew it. Disney's been tracking us through our phones and our passes and the tickets we buy. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, so we got a dog in a Yoda costume, a dog in a Darth Vader costume, a dog in a Princess Leia outfit, we got a dog as an at, -at. we got a dog as a, I think that's a, Lord, I don't want to make assumptions. <laughs> Basically this guy right here, I, I don't know enough about Star Wars to like officially say what that is because I think I might be wrong. Then we got a dog dressed as Thor, Iron Man, or Spider-Man. Well, I am totally biased towards Iron Man. You picked the Iron Man dog costume, your secret. You loved school growing up and still do. You pretend that you don't like homework or work projects to your friends, but you actually get super excited to head to a coffee shop and write a nice long paper. We love that. Okay, so here's the deal. I'm no longer in school. I was in school for about three or four semesters and then I dropped out because my parents needed financial help and I haven't gone back because truth be told, school is just way too expensive right now. But when I was in college, I loved it. I loved doing the homework. I loved meeting new people. I loved the classes because it was so different from like basically elementary school to high school. Like. Obviously, it's like you can do more there. It's just like more expensive, you know Hopefully by the time you're seeing this Disney has already called me back and if not I'm hoping we get called back soon so that way hubby and I can work there Go through their college program and then move higher up so that way we feel like we have a secured future But let's move on to the next quiz So this quiz is can you name all of the members of the tank gang from finding Nemo without cheating? Here's to hoping. Alright, so that guy is... crap. <laughs> oh shoot, why am I blanking on his name? No, 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 he should be like the easiest one to remember. Gil, that's his name, Gil. That's Peach. That's Bubbles. That's Flo. Aunt flow no wait that's the reflections name what's her name Deb that's bloat and that's Nemo 
shoot, you have a name. You do have a name. Your name is on the tip of my tongue. You're the germaphobe. Ah, uh, shit. Gurgle. You're Jacques. How do you spell your name then? Oh, just Jack. <laughs> Seven out of eight, you definitely did not take this quiz. I remembered more names than I thought. Holy crap. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, so I actually totally forgot that in the middle of that, my timer went off. So thank you all so much for watching. All of these quizzes will be linked in the description box below, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, little skeletons. Stay safe, and I love you guys.